Hello everyone, welcome back to Photopea Tutorials and today we're diving into text editing. Whether you want to add simple captions, stylized text or cool typography effects, this tutorial has you covered. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to add and format text, use layer styles for effects, warp and transform text and even create text on paths. So let's get started. First, open Photopea and create a new document going to new project. For this demo, I will use a A4 format. To add text, click the T on your keyboard or find it here in the instrument sections. Click anywhere on the canvas and start typing. So let's write hello. Now the text options bar at the top lets you customize font family, font size, color, and alignment. Let's select a font. Photopea has a ton of different fonts and you can choose whichever you prefer. Then you can also choose the mode, but for this font there is just regular. Then adjust the size because here it's still small. Change the color, for example, to blue. And choose alignment, whether it's in, on the right, in the center, or on the left. And click on confirm. You can also use Ctrl or Command T to transform text size manually, like this. And confirm. Now well, let's learn layered styles and effects. Plain text is fine, but let's make it pop. So right click your text layer and select blending options to open layer styles. Here's what we're going to do. Add stroke to add an outline and choose the color like yellow and then regu regulate the size, position, whether it's outside, in the center or inside which basically covers the hole, unless we adjust it like this. Also, you can adjust blend mode, whether it's normal, dissolve, linear burn, overlay, etc. But for this example, I will just leave it to normal. And opacity. And fill time, whether it's color, gradient, or pattern. Let's see the gradient. Now a new window opened and you can adjust the gradient here. Choose the colors. And we have learned about gradients and how to add colors in one of the previous lessons. So if you haven't checked it, you can go see it. Like this. And next we're going to do drop shadow here on the bottom. You can adjust blend mode, distance, spread, size, and contour. And also angle if needed. And let's also try gradient overlay, which adds the gradient but to the text. You can also choose the angle. You can also see inner shadow. And basically just see how they work and experiment with each of them. 
All of these effects have pretty much the same settings, it's just blend mode, opacity, angle, contour, maybe distance and others, but they're all very similar. So the main thing is that you understood what each of them mean, and then you can play around with any of these layer styles. And combine them for unique looks. Now once you're done, click OK. But if you want to save this style or this preset, then you can click on Define New right under the OK button. Here you will see a little icon of effects. Now let's talk about warping and transforming text. So if you want curved or distorted text, but before doing that, you should rasterize this layer. I have already done that. And then go to Edit, Transform, and Warp. You can use already done presets here, like Arc, Lower Arc, Upper Arc, Shell, Fish Eye. Etc. I will use lower arc and confirm. Alternatively, you can use free transform by going to Ctrl or Command T and then right click for perspective, skew or rotate. Now let's see how it is. But before doing that, I will either cancel all these effects that we have added or I will just add a new text layer because Photopea will not be able to load these transform effects plus the other ones that we have created before. Like this is skew. Then I will rasterize it again. Distort. And perspective. And here it is. Now let's do text on paths. This technique will level up your logo and patch designs. So first of all, we choose the pen tool or P on the keyboard to draw a curved path. Then press enter. Then you switch to text and hover over it until the text the cursor changes and here we can type something like and using what we have learned today we can also adjust the size change the font the color And some pro tips, if you want to flip text to the inside of circle, you can use the path selection tool or A on the keyboard. And you can also move, switch the sides, change text alignment along the path. And of course you can do it to other shapes, whether they are with pen uh, instrument or with geometric shapes that are available on Photopea. It will work the same and it's just a cool tool to make your logos or designs in general in more interesting looking. And there you have it, your complete guide to mastering text in Photopea. We covered everything from basic text formatting to advanced effects like layer styles, warping and even text on paths. Now you can create eye-catching typography for social media posts, logos, YouTube thumbnails and more. But before you go, here's a quick recap of what we have learned today. First is adding and formatting text, changing the font, size and color. Then layer styles, learn drop shadow strokes, inner glow. 
warping and transforming text for creative designs. And text on paths for curved or circular layouts. I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next videos.